In this video, I will compare Morgan versus Fantastical and tell you which of these scheduling and task management tools may be best for you and your needs. So first, let's go ahead and compare them in terms of features and who can use them and who they are created for, starting with Fantastical. So Fantastical is an app created specifically for Apple devices. You can use it on your Mac, Vision Pro, iPad, iPhone, or your Apple Watch. Now, if you don't use Apple devices and you use something else such as Android, then you will not be able to use Fantastical and you should automatically go with Morgan. However, if you do use Apple devices, maybe you have a Mac, a iPad and an iPhone, then you can actually use Fantastical if you'd like to. Now, in terms of features on Fantastical, they have simple time blocking so that you can have tasks, for example, from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. I will do groceries, then from 3 p.m. until 5 p.m. I'm watching this football game, then here I'm doing this work and here I'm doing this task, etc. And they have a very sleek interface and pretty nice design. And you can also do stuff like attach file and photos. You have views of the day, week, quarter, month. You can set up event and task templates and you can set up recurring tasks if you have them. And in terms of pricing for Fantastical, you have either personal and family or for teams and business. Now for personal plans for individuals, that is it's five euros 84 cents per month. Now for families up to five people, it's eight euros and 34 cents per month when you bill annually. Now for teams and businesses, it's five euros 84 cents per user per month. Now, if you want to get started with Fantastical, then I'll leave a link to their pricing here down in the description. You can see what exactly is included. They also have a free plan, which is important to mention. You'll see the free plan here, get you the events and tasks, even the widgets right here. But for example, Apple Watch support is not included in the free plan and the interesting calendars, time to leave notifications and some of the more premium integrations, collaboration features and just general features will only be available in their premium plans. And the premium plans have the same features for individuals, families and teams. Now comparing this to Morgan, Morgan is available on both Mac devices, Windows and also on your phone. Now in terms of features on Morgan, you can see you can do smart team scheduling so you can work together with your team and find the best option for a meeting. You have a Morgan Assist and you can set up tasks and do time blocking. So the time blocking and task management is very similar to that of Fantastical. Now, a great feature of Morgan is that you can also integrate your task managers such as Notion, Todoist, Linear, Google Tasks and ClickUp and Obsidian is also coming soon. Now, in my opinion, Morgan is more aimed at work tasks, so you can turn all of your to do's for your work into daily action plans, as it says here. Although you can also add your family and personal tasks and events in here, so you can just use it for whatever you want. But I think Morgan is great for individuals that are also using it for their work, because you will also have a feature like a booking page and scheduling links where people can book in a meeting with you based on the time slots that you have set available and you will have your own booking page where people can do this. Then Morgan also has a completely free plan which is a pretty good plan with one calendar integration, unlimited tasks, unlimited open invites and the Morgan team availability. Then here you will unlock the team availability check in the pro plan. You will unlock integrations and automations. And if you pay annually it's 9 euros per month. If you pay monthly it's 15 euros per month. So should you use Morgan or Fantastical? In my opinion, it's pretty simple. If you are using Apple devices and you have a Mac, an iPad, an iPhone, maybe even an Apple Watch or Vision Pro, and you are looking for a very easy to use but not too advanced task manager to just create some time blocks and see what you want to work on for a specific day, but nothing really special, no advanced integrations or booking links or anything like that, but just a simple calendar, then I think Fantastical is the way to go. Again, if you want to check out the pricing to see which plan you will need and if you can get the free plan or if you want to get the family plan, etc., then I'll leave a link to this page in the description.
Now for everyone else, I would use Morgan. So if you're looking for some more advanced features, maybe you don't use Apple devices, or maybe you have an iPhone, but also a Windows desktop, then you should go with Morgan so that you can actually use it across those devices as well. And so that you can actually integrate it with your task managers, such as Notion, Asana, and more. Also, you will have the ability to set up booking links where people can book in a meeting with you. Now for Morgan, I'll also leave a link down in the description where you can get started with their free plan or their pro plan if you want to get right into the integrations and the more advanced automations and features. And if you sign up through the link down in the description and you decide to get the pro plan, whether you want to pay monthly or yearly, for example, I'll set it to yearly since here you do save 40%. But let's say that you are going to bill yearly, then here in the payment section, you can add a discount code and that is my coupon code HOW210. If you enter this code and then click apply, you will see you now have a discount of 10%. So if you sign up through the link in the description, it may be applied automatically. If not, just enter code HOW210 at checkout to get 10% off on your subscription. So that concludes this comparison of Morgan versus Fantastical. Again, click on the links in the descriptions to get started with both of these tools. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.